Jimmy Dang from Maximum PC here at CES 2015. I'm here at uh, a Steel Series booth speaking with Travis. What's up again, Jimmy? And Travis, uh, can you tell us what we're looking at here? Yeah, sure. So last time we spoke at BlizzCon, it was more of the publisher side of things, with Blizzard Entertainment products. This time we're going back to Steel Series 4, and we have the Sentry eye tracking system. So actually, back over the weekend, we actually had five streamers stream their favorite games right now. You're looking at Shiver playing Dota 2. Um, she's actually using the Sentry for the first time on Twitch TV. So the Sentry, long story short, is an eye tracking piece of hardware. Uh, we developed in co collaboration with Toby Technology, the leaders in eye tracking in the medical field, and also now they're starting to get into the gaming side of things. They contacted us last year. We announced the partnership, and after a year's time, this is the end product that we have. Um, while we're on the screen here, she's playing Dota 2. Uh, you can see this orange circle that's bouncing around to the mini map and looking up top looking on the screen is actually where she was looking while she was gaming over the weekend. Um, and we had four other gamers with her playing Minecraft, League of Legends, CSGO as well. Um, and all of them were basically using this as the first time on, on Twitch TV and being able to share the experience with their, with their viewers and their fans. The feedback was great. We had the Twitter feed live on the whole time. We had you know, a bunch of people tuning in and checking it out for the first time. And there's, some, there's a lot of hype around the product right now and we're super excited about it. So do you, do you mount this just like right on top of the monitor? Yeah, or so over work? here we actually have like what the setup would look like. So you mount it basically onto the front of your monitor. We give you a mounting bracket that sticks on with an adhesive. It mounts on via magnets on the back here. And then basically it can stick there. You can take it off if you want. And then it's really discreet. You can actually just see it's just a little mounting bracket on the front. And then it snaps on. Cool. Um, it also comes with the game analyzer. So as much over here was more of the game uh, overlay. And then with the game analyzer, you can actually go in depth of what you were actually looking at and how that actually matters. We kind of call it a virtual coach. Um, so you can see how many times you're looking at the mini map and how frequently. And if, also if you have like teammates as well, you can compare up to five people and compare all of your teammates at the same time. So if you have a teammate that doesn't look at the mini map, you've been arguing about it <laughs> for you know weeks on end, you can finally call them out on it by saying, dude, you weren't looking at the mini map. So you're saying if you want to argue with your friends, buy this. <laughs> if, you want to, if you want to argue with your teammates and ultimately improve and compare with your teammates and also compare with the Steel Series Pros that we sponsor, this might be the product for you to get you started into the path where you want to be in game. Okay, so right now it, it only uh, it's working with the Dota, is that right? Yeah, so it works with Dota 2 and StarCraft 2 on launch, but we're working with a bunch of different publishers right now to make sure that we get integration by the end of the year. Okay, and are you um, are you sort of like? So let's say you get that data. How do you know how to improve? Like, how do you interpret that to data that is like something that you can you know work to get better on? That? So we're working on it right now, actually, to be able to create guides on how we can actually work with our pros and what the data actually means to them, right. and how we can share that with our community and show them, hey, you know, if you're not looking at your mini map x amount of times per minute, you might want to look at it some more to gain some more information. If you're not, you know, checking various different checking various different lanes at certain times, you might want to do that. So we're basically going to start writing guides and giving different perspectives from our pros on how to utilize this piece of hardware, right? Because it's brand new, a lot of people might not necessarily know where to start with it. So we want to be able to kind of get them in the right direction and start exploring on their own. Cool. And I think earlier we were looking at it uh, over here, you're sort of comparing it to how we watch uh, the football today. Yeah. Do you do, are you hoping to, to use it as like a spectator sport type of thing? We definitely want to use it in major tournaments as well. It's kind of it's kind of got the factor of like instant replay did in the NFL as well as like the first down marker, right? So right off the bat, it necessarily wasn't something that was welcomed by the masses, but over time, you know, over a couple of years, I mean, you wouldn't watch an NFL game now without the first down marker or instant replay, right? right? So it's kind of the same thing. It's an early adoption thing right now, but a lot of people are finding it really cool. And we're hoping, you know, in a year's time, much like with instant replay and the first down marker in the NFL, that this is something that ultimately makes watching esports better. Is the eye tracking? Is there a lot of work to be done to still get it to, to be more accurate? It's or? actually calibrated. It takes between three to five minutes. We have a very simple app that actually follows your eyes in certain points around the screen, calibrates it, and then you can actually profile store. So if you have multiple people in a house and you want to have like ten people using the same one, you can just swap the profiles. If you have glasses, if you have contacts, if you have astigmatism, we also compensate for that uh, in the actual calibration software. So if you have a pair of eyes that you want to use and use the Sentry, you can do it come out and how much does it cost? Uh, this is going to be available at the end of January and it's going to be, be $199.
And you guys also uh, announced a new keyboard, right? Yeah, so we announced a new keyboard right over here. It's actually being demoed right now. Uh, it's our Apex M800. So it's a full RGB mechanical keyboard. It utilizes our own switch called the QS1. Um, it was built from the ground up with our developer, Taiwa, in China. Um, it's a linear switch. It's very similar to an MX Red style of key, but it's a little bit different in the fact that it doesn't actually have a step. It actually is built all the way around square evenly, so it's actually more stable than a stem style switch, and the LED actually shines directly through, so you get a more balanced light versus all that bleed that you find in the cherry RGB. Um, we like the benefits of it, and we're getting feedback from people for the first time on it here, and the feedback so far has been really great towards it. Um, it'll be available at the end of January as well for $199, um, and it's the first time we've actually put our own SteelSeries QS1 in the keyboard, and we have some other things coming this year that will feature it as well. Cool. Thank you, Travis. Yeah, awesome.